known to reach decibel levels comparable to that of a jet engine. Century Link Field is the location for this matchup between the Broncos and the Seahawks. Well, when you talk about Seattle Seahawks, Denver Broncos, you know the one thing I, I think about Seattle, Pete Carroll's done an awesome job. Slowly building that team up where, you know, he's not building a West Coast team. He's trying to be big, tough, and physical, and so far it's working pretty well. How do you think this game comes down in the end? Well, you, these two teams, are, they're built really the same way. They want, they want to out-hit you. Uh, so when you talk about that is the main focus of what you're trying to do in the game, that means what? It's not going to be a lot of scoring, so I think it'll be a low-scoring game. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Trying to power his way right up the middle. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and six, scrambling out of the pocket. It's away from the stack, sliding to get away from the hit. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. First and 10, incompletion on that hurry throw. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Second and 10. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Jim, they call that a post route. Do you know why? Of course you don't know why. The wide receiver is running towards the goal post, so they call it a post route. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. We're running it like it's an option play. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Yeah, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. This play just takes so long. That's why it doesn't work too often in the NFL. Fast defense as the quarterback makes the fake. He tosses the football outside to the runner. Nowhere to go, and he loses yards on the play. Third and seven. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Quarters formation here for the defense. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. On the run. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Quarterback giving himself up. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. First and ten. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive.
spins out of the defender's clutches. They bring him to the turf. Moreno's glid out wide on the right. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. That catch gives them a first down. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. That reception gave them the first down. And he's intercepted. That brings the play to an end. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Now to run here. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Takes in the slot. Second down and 13. And he's going to pitch it here the stop always good to have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message it shows everybody that you can run it when you want to and also it opens up so many other things for your offense wilson's gonna take it from the gun what a hit and the ball falls incomplete this defense you're playing against they're pretty good so it's fourth down near midfield punt the football Quarters formation here for the defense. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? Let's see how they back up the big play here. Running a little college-like option. Puts up six. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. this return completely covered tackling him inside the 15 Peyton Manning under center first and 10 and he's taken down well that's a sign of a good defense when you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman you don't need any tricks. You don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. The pass complete. Touchdown. This game is tight. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. No return, the ball's coming out to the 20. Offense lines up here. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. The Seahawks get a first down. When a quarterback can run, he usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. 
running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. After running it, it's second down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Wide receivers are bunched up. Halfback sent in motion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And it completion right there, but it really should have been an interception. And that was a battle for the football, Phil. That time the defense won out incomplete. Yeah, nice job, Jim, that time by the defensive back just being aggressive and get, and making sure the receiver could not make the catch. That's just bad execution by the offense, bad decision by the quarterback. He pitches it out to the running back, nowhere for the running back to go, and he lost a couple of yards on the run. Third and long. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. When you have a quarterback that can throw the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. Russell Wilson has it under center. Wilson's back at it now, dropping back once again. They're gonna get him this time. This might not be nice to see, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. We'll go ground. Straight ahead. Number 22. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. He'll throw it over the middle. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Oh, it's a fake. Ball's picked off. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Peyton Manning under center, first and ten, wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation. Throws to the right, makes the catch. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job by the quarterback, completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Bringing the play to an end. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. And it completes. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive here on third and five. 
Payton over to Thomas. This is probably the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to pass coverage. Four defensive backs all playing deep. Afraid to give up the big pass. That's great. You don't give up the big pass, but you give up an awful lot of short ones, especially in cuts going across the field. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. It's over to Welker. Welker makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes. In the promised land. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Inside of the uprights. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. his team great starting field position on that return well a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time how about that return by the return team good job good blocking look at the speed of that guy running they get the tackle from behind they stop the touchdown first to ten looking across the middle that pass was hurried Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The throw to the left, and Harbin with some nice hands brings in the bullet pass. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Mag is out. Gains 11. Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. <laughs> After that penalty, it sets up second down and ten. Russell Wilson out to Sidney Rice. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. <laughs> Offense lines up here. He's scrambling now. Runs out of bounds. The Seahawks come out in a bunch set. And it's picked off by Rodgers Cromarty. Spins out of the tackle. He's brought to a halt. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. Moreno's on the right side, split out wide. First and ten, looking for an open receiver on the right. Dragged to the ground, looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion, they still do not get the first down though. Brings it in. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. They've got a first down now after that catch. Throwing now to his left. How did he drop back? These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. 
Offense lines up here. Second and ten. Makes the catch in open space. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Going deep, looking for Demarius Thomas, but it's incomplete. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them, here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Moreno lined up in the backfield. That's over to Welker. Manning complete as he finds Welker on that throw. Crossing routes, that's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep, cover four, look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. Looking to the right side and throwing. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Sticks to his hands. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Going across the middle. Touchdown, Broncos. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Offside defense. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. here for the defense. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Breaks away. When you have a defense as fast as this one, they over pursue. So that's why you want to run a counter run. Take advantage of the fact that they are just charging too fast, too hard, and not thinking on the defensive side. Takes lined up in the slot. Second and four. Up the middle. And that gains one. The Seahawks. One timeout remaining. Split backfield here. Third and four. He'll fire it out to the left. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Russell Wilson has it under center. the grab. You can't always go for it on fourth and short. But I like this call. They make it. The offense executes and they pick up the first down. Russell Wilson has it under center. They're going back up top. He's going deep. And it's incomplete. 
That does it here for the first half. Seahawks trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Broncos are leading by seven. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Signaling for fair catch. First down here. The third quarter begins with this play. Reaches out and grabs it. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. The Broncos lined up. Bunch formation. Ball is caught. Unstoppable. The 40. The 30. The 20. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. What a nice throw and catch that time. But here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He gets to toss. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. He made it. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Touchback. Russell Wilson has it under center. Now first and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Taking off. And they came up a yard short. Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and one. They've got him behind a line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Double tight end formation. Second down, three for the first. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Number three, can't complete the pass. The Seahawks at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Eyeing that left side. The Seahawks now move the chains. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Russell Wilson has it under center. Wilson's dropping back to pass once again. Interception. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Moreno lined up in the backfield. down and 10. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. 
Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big gains yet, there's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He had no time to get set. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. He has the grab. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. First down here after the completion. Peyton Manning from the shotgun, getting away from the pressure. Looks to his left. And there's a sideline pass incomplete. It's ruled. Moreno's lined up outside on the right. Manning from the gun. And a completion this time. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Quarters formation here for the defense. Third down and two. Here's the quick toss. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. They're able to move the chains after that last run. ground now on first down he's tackled at the 28 nice job that time by the defense they were ready for the run nowhere for the running back to go and they stopped him for a short game plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one second and seven balls gonna receive the toss spins away from the tackle what a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Moreno's the receiver all the way to the right side, out of the shotgun formation. Good job that time by the defense, not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Corners formation here for the defense. They run the counter play. Muscles through the defender. This game just got a whole lot more interesting. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. And the flag is down. They have the ball back and the play's continuing. And a touchdown. The onside kick is not legal until the football travels 10 yards. They're happy to begin this drive from this point. Peyton Manning under center. First and 10. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. And he spins away. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break.
Moreno lined up in the backfield. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Third down following the run. Tosses it to the running back. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. First down here after the run. Moreno's taking the handoff. It's up six. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Broncos come to the line of scrimmage and show a full house. And he is tackled at the 14. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Peyton Manning under center. Third and two, takes it on the counter. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Toss to the outside. Broncos in the end zone. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. The Broncos for the point after. And the point after is good. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. On first down, it's handed to the running back. Spins away from the tackle. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. To the ground here. They go up the middle. Tackles made. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out, overplaying plays where you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high. And we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because the, the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower. Won't get any flags thrown that way. On the carry. Three-yard gain on the play. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second down and eight, working that left side. That ball has been picked off. They've got him down there. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. 
Percy Harvin's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Manning's back in shotgun formation. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Moreno's a receiver all the way out to the right. Manning's got it in the gun. And he's going to be brought down. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a job by him. Gets by the tackle and sacks the QB. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Jumps up and comes down with it. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Broncos getting set for a field goal. Broncos call a timeout. They're first. Moreno's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. He's brought down. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Moreno lined up in the backfield. No one's going to get him now. The 10, touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Send him to the 20 yard line. First down on the way. Taking it up the middle. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. And Hurts, the two-point try is denied. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line.
receivers are bunched up. First and ten. Caught. They pounce on him there. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Moreno's in the backfield, single back set. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. Three and out. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. Moreno's split out wide on the right. Throws the pass. This is going to set up a change of possession. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs. It's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. First and ten. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Down inside the red zone now, trying to score as quickly as possible. Well, listen, the defense has got to know the situation here. It's okay to give up a few yards, maybe give up a complete. Dominique Rogers Cromarty has an interception. And he'll step out of bounds. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally.